The entrance into Mandarin Fish Lake is not very deep or wide. It's about a meter deep and about three meters wide. And on the other side, it's flanked by some very pretty sea fans. These big fans will trap any nutrients that move either in or out of the, of the lake. diving in these little marine lakes where you find a lot of vegetation falling into the sea and right underneath these branches and sort of twines and vines that are hanging in the sea you find very beautiful little butterfly fish the long nosed butterfly fish the lime spot butterfly fish some of the wrasses like the saddleback wrasse and along the edges one finds some of the very small little game fish that patrol these waters, the, the small little gar fish. Those are the long thin ones on the surface and they'll eat the even smaller little fish that you can see milling around the edges of this particular lake. Living in these little branches of these corals are these cardinals these are the pajama cardinal fish. They're also not very big, about three or four centimeters long, but a very beautiful fish with a striking red eye. Then as I started moving deeper, I found a huge band of different parrotfish. There were also a couple of wrasse in this sort of band as well. They descend on one particular spot and just all together start eating the little nutrients and the corals and the bits and pieces that they are picking off these rocky outcrops. This is probably a good time to start worrying about the well-being of the corals, but it's obviously all a, a natural predation and in time it will recoup and rejuvenate itself, but quite frightening to see these animals at work. And then when I was chasing the parrotfish, I came across this very long and very strange looking sea cucumber. This particular one was about 45 meters long. Watching it feed was amazing. Eight to ten sort of feelers coming out of the front of this animal, sucking up and catching any nutrients in the water, anything that it could find along the bottom. And it was just jamming its mouth full of whatever it was feeding on. And it didn't really stop for anything, you know. It ate its way through branch corals and around other corals. And then all of a sudden, when something gave it a fright, it would just retract. And then as I started ascending, I came across one of these jellyfish, one of the stinging versions. At the back it's got long protrusions that obviously are the stinging cells. So I kind of stayed away from him. 